welcome back to my channel for a very out of the usual out of the usual out of the norm unusual video <laughs> my friends and i have been getting really into learning about enneagrams lately and i have taken the test a few times and i normally end up as a three wing two i believe but i think the tests are so interesting because the questions reveal a lot about the person themselves i think today we should take one of the free tests together and just willingly spill dirt on myself not really but i feel like the questions are so personal and nitty gritty and reveal a lot about someone's character and the way they think it'll also be interesting to see i have heard that if you take the test too many times you could start answering less genuine and end up with a different type so let's take it let's see what let's see what i answer let's see what i get i don't know if i've taken this one before this is the ready test from enneagram institute I'm actually going to go ahead and start a screen recording. There's 144 questions. All right, I'll just choose the juicy ones to show with you. Begin the test. I've been romantic and imaginative. I'm pragmatic and down to earth. I'm more imaginative. I have tended to take on confrontations. I avoid confrontations 100%, 100%. I'm diplomatic, charming, and ambitious, or direct, formal, and idealistic. I'm not direct. I would say I'm pretty ambitious. I tend to be focused and intense, or I tend to be spontaneous and fun-loving. What about focused and fun-loving? I'm gonna go with focused. It's been difficult for me to relax and not worry about problems, or it's difficult for me to get worked up. Uh, it's definitely difficult for me to relax. I, I stress a lot. I have been a street smart survivor, a high-minded idealist. I'm not very street smart. Let's go with high-minded. I have needed to show affection to people. I prefer to maintain some distance with people. Oh, I'm very affectionate. When presented with a new experience, I've usually asked myself if it'd be useful to me. Yeah, I've asked myself if it'd be enjoyable. No, I don't really do things for fun very often. I do things do better, if that makes sense. I've tended to focus too much on myself. I've tended to focus too much on others. I probably focus too much on myself, to be honest. My career, my jobs, my work. Um, but then again, I do volunteer quite a bit, so I don't know. Others have depended on my insight and knowledge. Others have depended on my strength and decisiveness. Uh, neither. <laughs> Definitely not strength and decisiveness though, so I'll go with insight and knowledge. I've come across as being too unsure of myself. I've come across as being too sure of myself. I'm pretty confident. I would say too sure of myself. I have been more relationship oriented than goal oriented. I'm definitely more goal oriented than relationship oriented. I like my marriage is that that is very, very important to me, but then I definitely put my goals before friends, which is really bad and something I'm working on, but um, I'm trying to say yes to more activities with friends instead of working, trying to. I have not been able to speak up for myself very well or I've been very outspoken. I am not outspoken. I rarely, if I'm upset, I don't say anything. It's been difficult for me to stop considering alternatives and to do something definitive. It's difficult for me to take it easy and be more flexible. I'm forced to be flexible because I'm an actor and we have to do everything at the drop of a hat, but it's difficult for me to be flexible. I like to plan out my days, days in advance. <laughs> I tend to be careful and hesitant or I tend to be bold and domineering. Uh, I'm not bold and domineering. I'm careful, I'm not hesitant though. I do things pretty immediately. I'll go with careful and hesitant. My reluctance to get too involved has gotten me into trouble with people and my eagerness to have people depend on me has gotten into trouble with them. I would say my reluctance. I don't express reluctance. People don't know I'm reluctant, but it's usually hard for me to make the time I need to for other people. I do it, but it's hard because I have so much on my own plate. <laughs> usually I've been able to put my feelings aside to get the job done. Usually I need to work through my feelings. I don't care about my feelings. <laughs> I mean, I do, but I, I'm really good at swallowing my feelings, which is not good, but I'm good at it. Generally, I've been methodical and cautious. Generally, I've been adventurous and taken risks. Uh, see, that's like that other one, but I actually feel like I take more risks. I'm methodical, but I take risks. I'm gonna, I'm gravitating towards the word risks. I'm gonna choose risks. I tend to be a supportive, giving person who seeks intimacy with others. I tend to be serious, reserved person who, who likes discussing issues. I'm supportive. I, I like intimacy with others. I seek it. I just don't prioritize it. I've often felt that I need to be a pillar of strength. I've often felt the need to perform perfectly. Perform perfectly. A hundred percent. 
I have typically been interested in asking tough questions and maintaining my independence. I've typically been interested in maintaining my stability and peace of mind. I'm all about stability, y'all. I'm all about keeping the peace. I have been cynical and skeptical. I have been mushy and sentimental. I'm honestly probably a bit cynical because of acting. Even when you book an audition, I'm like, yeah, I'll believe it when I'm on set. And then when I'm on set, I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll believe it airs when I see it. And when it airs, I'm like, yeah, I'll believe I'm paid when I get the check. <laughs> you gotta be, you can't be too hopeful in the acting world or you will get crushed. I've often worried that I'm missing out on something better. I've often worried that if I let down my gar, some will, will take advantage of me. I'm not really that worried of either. Um, I'm very focused on my future. I guess let down my guard in the sense that if I am not perfect, people won't like me as much. That got deep real quick. I don't fear someone taking advantage of me, but I fear someone disliking me, which is very not good to be a content creator. <laughs> My habit of being standoffish has annoyed people. My habit of telling people what to do has annoyed people. I am, I consider myself to be relatively emotionally intelligent and one of the things that I put a lot of focus into is not upsetting the people around me and being aware of their feelings. So I feel like neither of these, I'm not standoffish, but I also hate telling people what to do. I like to take like the leadership role when it's like a group project and I can just work on it by myself, but I hate to take the leadership role when it's with a group of people and I have to delegate. But I'm definitely not standoffish, so I guess I'll pick telling people what to do. I have tended to get anxious if there's too much excitement. Nah, I've tended to get anxious if there wasn't enough excitement and stimulation. Oh, I have to be doing something at all times. <laughs> I have depended on my friends and they have known that they can depend on me. I have not depended on people, I have done things on my own. I don't depend on people, but I think my friends know that they can depend on me. I hate asking for favors. I hate asking for favors. That's another issue. Um, I like to just do it by myself. Even at my job, people come up all the time and they're like, hey, you look overwhelmed. Is there anything I can do to help? And I'm like, I'm fine. I got it when I'm not fine at all. <laughs> it's another flaw. We're learning all my character flaws right now. Wow, this is really open and honest. I have tended to be ta detached and preoccupied. I have tended to be moody and self-absorbed. I'm gonna go with the word preoccupied. I, I do let myself get distracted with what I have going on. I don't know about detached though. I have liked to challenge people and shake them up. I have liked to comfort people and calm them down. Oh, comfort and calm them down. Who likes to get people shaken up? That's just mean. I've generally been an outgoing, sociable person. I've generally been an earnest, self-disciplined person. I am outgoing, but I am very self-disciplined. I would consider myself more outgoing, I guess. I wanted to fit in with others. I get uncomfortable when I stand out too much. I wanted to stand out from others. Ooh, I get uncomfortable when I don't distinguish myself. I have always liked to stand out. <laughs> Pursuing my personal interests has been more important to me than stability and security. Yeah, I moved to LA at the drop of a hat when I was 18, so I don't, should read the second one, but don't want to. Having stability and security has been more important than pursuing my personal interests. Screw stability and security. I'm gonna be a freelancer server for life, man. When I've had conflicts with other, I've tended to withdraw. Yep, I rarely back down. Nope, I withdraw 100%. You're right, I'm wrong, shut up. So anybody want to try guys? It's Eugene, but reversed. I've given in too easily and let others push me around. I have been too uncompromising and demanding of others. I let people push me around all the time. My coworkers have told me when I'm a closer, that means I have to oversee that everyone does their side work and check them out before they go home, that they take advantage of me and that they just let me do it because they know I'll do it. And then they can go home earlier. That's me. I have been appreciated for my unsinkable spirit and resourcefulness or I have been appreciated for my deep caring and personal warmth. I would say I have an unsinkable spirit more than I have a deep caring. Um, I'm always in good spirits, but I also know when it's not my responsibility to care about an issue that doesn't involve me too much, which sounds bad, but it's honest. I have wanted to make favorable impressions on others, yep. Or I have cared little about, nope. I have always wanted to make good impressions. I have depended on my perseverance and common sense, or I've depended on my imagination and moments of inspiration. I would say perseverance more than 
imagination. Basically, I have been an easygoing and agreeable, or I have been hard driving and assertive. I'm agreeable, but I'm also, I'm not assertive. To uh, see, this, this is difficult if it's talking about when interacting with other people or with myself. Because I'm very hard driving and assertive with myself and with my goals. But with other people, I'm pretty easygoing and agreeable because I don't want to upset anyone. Okay. This is interesting because like I've said, I care a lot about peace and harmony and I want to be liked, but duty and responsibility trump that. Like I said, we'll say no to social plans because I have too much that I have to get done. I have to get it done. That's priority. Should it always be priority? No, but it is. I, I got goals I gotta achieve. I have so many goals. I gotta achieve them. I've tried to motivate people by making big plans and big promises, or I've tried to motivate people by pointing out the consequences of not following my advice. Neither. I definitely don't like threaten people by pointing out consequences, but I don't make big promises either. I try to keep my motivation realistic. Dealing with details has not been one of my strong suits. I have excelled at dealing with details. It's not one of my strong suits. I'm a big picture thinker and I get the execution done, but I would rather give 90% and make sure I got an A than give 100% because an A is an A and I can get more done more efficiently, more projects if I don't care about those last 10% of details. Oops. I've often emphasized about how different I am from most people, especially my family. <laughs> Way to call me out or I've emphasized how much I have in common with people. I always talk about how different I am from my family. I've stood by my friends even when they have been wrong. I have not wanted to compromise what is right for friendship. Ooh, that's hard. Um, when my friends do wrong, I take a step back and I let them know I love them, but I can't justify wrong actions. I can't defend wrong actions. I can defend the person, but I can't defend wrong actions. But I've stood by my friends, not by my friends' actions. Yeah, right? Yeah. I'm going to plow through a few more questions and then we will see the results. Okay, I'm on the last question of the test. Last one. I have avoided intimacy when I fear I would be overwhelmed by people's needs and demands. I have avoided intimacy when I feared I would not be able to live up to people's expectations of me. Probably needs and demands. Submit test, here we go. I wonder if it's changed. I am still a three. Ooh, a three wing nine. Is that what that means, if nine's my second most? I'm pretty up there on the nine. Ah, I am reading that your wing is your highest second score that is on either side of your number. So either side of the three, which is funny because my second to last is two and my very, very last is four. So I'm technically still a three wing two, even though type two scored only 11, but type four, the individualist scored only nine. Interesting. So I'm a very weak wing. I might even be considered to have no wing since both wing options are literally the very last two. So I'm still the achiever. Oh, but threes can be read as a nine when they're stressed. Interesting. I am success oriented, efficient, adaptive, excelling, driven, and image, image conscious. I would say all that's pretty dang true. Threes are effective, competent, adaptable, goal-oriented, ambitious, organized, diplomatic, charming, into performance and image conscious. Mm. Yeah, excessively driven, competitive. At their best, threes are authentic, admirable, modest, well-adjusted, gracious, interesting in others, self-accepting. Self okay, oh, so under stress, a three, I scored higher in my nine than I've ever before. So I wonder if that means I'm under more stress. Under stress, threes goes to average nine. When threes drive themselves too hard, their stress can go beyond what they can normally cope with. When this occurs, they tend to go on autopilot, attempting to just get through things without being bothered in the manner of average nines. Threes going to nine become more passive and fall into routines. They lose their focus and involve themselves with busy work to at least give the appearance that they are getting things done. If stress continues, however, they may begin to become shut down, listless, and depressed, losing interest in their projects and withdrawing from people. They feel little energy or enthusiasm and simply want people to leave them alone and give them space. They can become stubborn and resistant to offers of help at these times, not wanting to hear that they have a problem. I don't think I'm there. I don't think that I have little energy or enthusiasm and want people to give me space. Do I take on too much? Probably. 
probably. So I don't know if that means I am more of a peacemaker or if I'm more stressed and um, becoming, reading more as a nine. So let me know if you know a lot about Enneagrams because I am still learning down below. But nines are patient, steady, easygoing, receptive, unselfconscious, agreeable, uncomplicated, comforting. I try to be those things. I might not naturally be those things, but I work to be those things. I really hate upsetting people. I really do. That's probably my biggest thing in life is letting people down or upsetting people. Well, I will have to read through all of this later. My nine was pretty close to my three. They were only six apart. I hope that this sparks some, some fun discussion. Let me know what your Enneagram is down below because I am very interested as I learn more and more about this. And let me know if you think I'm stressed or just becoming a better person by being more peaceful with age. Because I don't know. It could go either way. <laughs> I love y'all so much. It, it's fun to be overly vulnerable and share my innermost feelings and monologue. Really pushing myself here. I love you. I really do. I hope you have the best rest of your day. And I will see you in a video very soon. Bye. Oh, this is everything.